Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be analyzing the George Bello and his transfer to Armenia, Armenia Bile Field. So today we're going to be analyzing George Bello's move to Armenia Bile Field. Um, I'm sorry, I, I do not know much German. Like, I've practiced German before, but obviously Bile Field, Bile Field, Bile Field. That, I don't know how you say, but still, he moved to Armenia. So, yeah. So, let's begin. So, let's go over first a little quick analysis on George Bello on who he is. Um, if you, if you European viewers do not know who George Bello is. So, he's 20 years old. He's a left back. Uh, he's pretty young for a left back. Uh, he, his birthday was like last month. It was like January 20-something. Um, he just moved from Atlanta United to Armenia Bela Field. So if you look at the, let me see, let me grab you the pen over here. The pen. The pen. Okay. So here is the Atlanta United badge. If you guys don't 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 know what the badge looks like, it's over right over there. I just circled it. He's good at dribbling. He's good at taking players one on one. Likes to overlap. He he's a player who likes to attack. He's as well pretty decent when it comes to like defending at times. However, he's like he needs them to improve on upon. He needs to improve upon the combination play. Needs to improve combat. Needs to improve combination play and crossing. Improve improving on the of defending will help us. Defending will help us well. Look at he's a he's he can be a good defender at times, and I'm a last but look at. If once you go into the higher level, you need to be be better at defense, and I believe I believe that's one of the areas that George Bello needs to improve upon. Uh, George Bello is a high working player. He's a player that works hard. He's a player that likes to likes to play off the dribble, likes to overlap. He likes to, he just likes to attack. Um, he he is good when it comes to um the um defend when in transition as well. He's pretty good as well. However, he needs to improve upon combination play, crossing, defending as well. Coming back on on defense as well can help 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 that as well, since it's going to be a quicker soccer. So yeah. So now let's go over a quick analysis on Armenia Bila Field. So this is the badge Armenia Bila Field. This is the badge. If you MLS fanboys do not know, um, position fourteen. They're 14th in the table. Out of their 18 teams in the Bundesliga, so they, obviously they're two points above the relegation zone. Uh, Wolfsburg are as well as some other club. Are, are, look at although it's only 18 teams, the the best out of the three, which is gonna be uh, let me see, 18th, 7th, 16th, will be playing a playoff against the worst. Um, team that that could be going to promotion. Uh, so yeah, um, goal scored twenty. Horrible, horrible, horrible offense. Horrible offense. Uh, it's beyond some of the worst in the league. So having a player of uh, an offensive fullback like George Bella might help. Goals against twenty six. It's pretty average. The defense is pretty average. However, they need some help scoring goals. And I believe Armenia Bielefeld didn't sign no. No strikers, which seems kind of strange since all their strikers have been horrible this season. Uh, other left backs that they have is Andres, Andred, Andred, and Andres, Andrade, and Jacob Larson. The, the main competition for left back spot. So obviously, it's pretty decent competition for it for that spot. Um, George Bell will have to step up his game. I believe Andres Andrade with this transfer will move back to the left to the left center back spot. I don't think he'll be much much more of a left back since he's kind of like a defensive fullback. If he wants to, if he plays there, Jacob Larson tends to attack a lot more than Andres Andrade. And the thing about Andres Andrade is that he's Panamanian. So. Yeah, that's another player that Panama have over abroad, other than Murillo, which kind of surprises me. Um, no wonder why they have been pretty good thus far in uh, in World Cup qualifying, um, because they have some fair. If they have some players in Europe, obviously not a lot like we do, or like not even like Mexico does, but still, they have some. 
players that are quiet, but they're making some noise. So yeah, they they need points to secure survival. They need points, uh, and I believe playing signing a guy like George Bellum might help since he's more of a f offensive fullback. But they need to sign attackers, and they did not. I don't know how, if they're going to use George Bell as a winger, I don't know what they're going to do. I really do not know. So, yeah. Um, so, let's go over some points. Slow but great development. George Bell will have to adapt to Bundesliga. I'm sorry. Um, Armenia Bayfield will, will, try, to, will try to survive with Bell rather than try to develop him into a greater player technically, which is uh, an area where I think George Bell has to improve upon. However, I believe that I mean, the improvement on George Bellow's combination play will be forced rather than be... How can I say this? George Bellow will have to learn how, how to do combination play better because he will have to. Um, George Bellow will have to get used to... Co will have to get used to co compress time and space, which will make him... Which will... Which will make him combine better with his with his midfielders. Um, Bundesliga offers better training than MLS. We all know that. Um, Armenia Bielefeld are not that known when it comes to developing players. I really do not know many players that I have noted. Not not like Hoffenheim, obviously, but still. Um, now going to getting a tough fight. I'm not saying George Bell is gonna throw hands or anything. But he's going to be getting into a battle out there, like, with Arminio Bielefeld. George Bella will face good competition, good competition for his spot. Like, George Bella will have to step up his game because as Atlanta, who did he really have competition from? Practically nobody. So, right over there in Arminio Bielefeld, he'll have to, one, improve. Uh, he'll have to improve technically, which is an area where I think he has improved the most upon. Uh... And as well defending as well, and obviously our mini Bielefeld are in a relegation battle, so he will have to improve. And if he does not end up working out, you know, you know, there's two other left backs that they have, or two people that can play the, the left back spot. Since Larson is more of a winger and Andrade is more of a center back, but obviously he's a, he's a pure left back, and like both of his competition but still they both play pretty good over there as well and that can be their main position as well so yeah um over the transfer analysis and for some reason i forgot my dumbass forgot to put the picture over here on this slide so transfer analysis so six out of ten moves for me this is a pretty average move um it's great it's great um um 1.8 million euro transfer this is pretty low, if you really think about it, because George Bellows real, his real value is four million on transfer marks. But obviously, Asante United probably undersold him, so he's practically very cheap. She, this is a pretty cheap deal for someone that's that talented. Um, he will have the pressure to perform, obviously, since Armenia Bielefeld are in a relegation battle for crying out loud. We will face good competition for his play, so he will have to step up his game. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to try to um, not going to try to overuse the narrative, but Bundesliga is a good home for many young Americans. Like, let's just name some quick Americans: Gio Reyna, Christian Pulisic, Chris Richards, um, Weston McKinney, Tyler Adams. Those are just five, and that's pretty much our big five pillars over there. Which is Christian Pulisic, Gio Reyna, Tyler Adams, uh, Weston McKinney, and no four, because the fifth pillar is obviously Sergio Dest, and obviously he's from Ajax. He's not from the Bundesliga. He is in a tough, oh my gosh, tough relegation battle. He's in. Okay, ignore my bad spelling. I have really bad spelling, and ignore my bad high highlighting during this video because I'm been pretty bad with highlighting so yeah um george i believe george bellow this is a good move because obviously you'll have to be you'll have to be um a better player if he wants to perform over there in the bundesliga look i've seen him with the national team i've really never been impressed by george bellow but so i believe he's a guy that i believe he he has the future to be with the national team be part of the 
left back depth chart alongside players like Cam Paredes, Jonathan Gomez, if he decides to play for us, and obviously Sam Vines. Look, I believe he should have been going to Belgium at first because look, I I don't I think the George Bell is a really raw talent. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to say that he's a really raw talent. And look, he can do the hard things pretty good when it comes to, like he. I've seen him in, in in MLS. He tends to dribble to pass a couple of guys, but look, he has to do the simple things better. Combination play, he needs to learn how to do that better as well. That's one of the simple things he has to get right. Um, knowing how to cross and when to cross, that's another simple thing, and he has to fix that. So he'll have to work hard to find the fix. Look, he does. The exceptional things right, but he needs to learn how to do the small things better. So yeah, that's pretty much my narrative on George Bello. He's a pretty good he's a pretty good player, but needs to improve upon learning how to do the uh, the simple things or the small things better because those are the really things that really count for a player over there abroad. So yeah, so let's just finish this video off. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.